My name is Anders Knudby. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of, of uh, Geography. Uh, my specialty is environmental and remote sensing. Remote sensing is a field that, that focuses on extraction of information from data collected by instruments that are on aircraft or increasingly on, on, uh, on satellites. So the, the data that are, are collected, um, we, can, we can take a very simple example. If you have an aircraft, you put a camera on it, you fly it around and you take photos. What you're essentially measuring with that camera is the amount of light that's coming into the camera from different areas on the ground. Now we need some way to translate the amount of light coming from each area into some information about that area. It's extremely easy for our eye brain system to do because we know if we look at something from above we see something that's very green and has a certain texture it's probably a forest. If we see something that's dark and kind of bluish and is very very large it's probably water. But it's actually surprisingly difficult to get a computer to do the same thing. So remote sensing uh, very largely is, is um, a field where, where we try to get a, a computer to do exactly that. Use the information that's in an image to try and find out what, what is there. Luckily, in remote sensing we can go beyond what we can see with our eyes. Uh, we, can, we can have measurements of ultraviolet light or in, in infrared light or thermal ra radiation. So we can start to look at uh, how hot things are. We can look in great detail uh, at, their, at their color, es essentially. So that we can see things in plants, we can see things like water stress, possibly we can see certain kinds of diseases or, um, or nutrient deficiencies. In water we can start to look at the amount of sediment that's in the water, the amount of, of the phytoplankton that, that's in the, the uh, water. So that, that's the field of remote sensing. We have, to, we have to use all the information that we get from uh, airborne or spaceborne uh, sensors to find out in, in as much detail as possible what is in our in environment. And if we do that for large areas and through time, we can get an incredibly detailed picture of what's going on with our environment. So my primary research interest has always been uh, large scale issues. Um, so the focus in my lab is always on, on creating um, systems that will process remote sensing data quickly and, and efficiently uh, so that we can use a very large amount of, of data to address problems that, that other people can't because they don't have access to the data or not in a form uh, that is, is, is useful. They don't have the, the processing tools to do it. Um, so while we're, we're always interested in developing uh, algorithms and methods to extract information from data, we're also always interested in, in addressing real problems. So for example, we have one project where we map uh, kelp we have another project where, where we're mapping seagrass. We're always trying to do this for large areas and, and through time, so we can address some of the, some of the questions that you can't really address in, in any other way.